Thank you for asking, but check out my cart. I got some nice watermelons. I am going to review the IWI Galil Ace Gen 2. Yes, I'm excited about that. I heard so much good things about it, and we're going to put it to the test. We're going to find out if it's Yolk Gang approved or not. You don't want to miss this, because we're going to have fun. heavy. She is. I-W-I. Galil Ace. G-R-A 37. Mm -mm -mm. It's been a long time coming and I am so excited about her. Let's do a quick little rundown in the box. Alright, so in our little packages here, we have a sticker. Y'all know I love me some stickers. IWI means Israel Weapon Industries. If you didn't know, that's what IWI stands for. We got a IWI card. We got a lock. We have, okay, now, seems like IWI no longer, well, before we even get any further, we are in a safe and controlled environment. Our range officer is, oh, they're back. Our range officer is right over there. And um, yeah, like I said, we are in a safe and controlled environment. All right, so manuals now, they have scan me's on it. So if you wanna read your manual or your, um, what is it? To register your firearm, you just have to register through these little things here. And we have this little, not sure what this is, but I'm gonna find some good use for that. Okay, and that is what is in the box. Let's pack this stuff out of the way. Let's turn this around this way. And also what comes in the box, you have one 30 round, ma one magazine. And also a cheek riser. All right, I'm gonna show you how that looks in one second. All right, so. Again, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. The Galil Ace, the IWI Galil Ace Generation 2. She is beautiful. Let's do a quick clear check. She's clear. Let me show you that. She is clear. As you can see, she's clear. We got quite a bit of love bugs flying around here and she is amazing she has a collapsible stock now the stock is quite uh difficult if you can tell right here there's these um two little l prongs that you have to separate them for them to actually collapse but um i will not be doing that because i've been <laughs> it does fold um, and it makes it into a neat little compact package. Even though it is a 16 inch barrel, the collapsible stock does give you that more of the little compact feel. But before we go any further, she is equipped with the Vortex AMG UH-1. Yes, it has night sight capability. It is a awesome, awesome looking sight. Unfortunately, it is battery powered, but that's not here nor there. I absolutely love it. She has the Magpul M-Lock floating handguard and you have a whole lot of area to add whatever it is that you want on here to make her just as tactical or as personalized as you want her to be. She has her Picatinny rails at the top, which is a huge plus. I am enjoying that. She weighs about, it's not even about, it's 
ounces unloaded so she does have some pretty good weight on her but again that weight i feel like it would make her shoot just that more just that much more comfortably because of the poundage that she has uh what else though she does not have any flip up sights on her which is um i wish she did but um that's okay your mag release it's it's an extended mag release here and it's super comfortable i am enjoying that let me give you that visual really quick with the magazine in that thing is sexy i got a mosquito on my leg she is super sexy let's take this bag out she is adjustable and she does have a um actual lock on here uh, i think that's probably about three settings here and once you set it to where you want it to be you can actually lock it into that position i am shorter so we're going to keep it at the um shortest length she has two different safeties well two different safety options she has a safety down here for your thumb and there's also a safety on um the right side of her but other than that i think i am going to enjoy her a whole whole lot i'm excited i'm preloaded preloaded with some good old tula steel dirty ammo <laughs> and we will be shooting that watermelon over there we have quite a few of them I did find some nice size ones, so hopefully we don't just make them blow up all at one at one time. You know, be able to shoot different sections of it so that we can um, stay out here a little longer. Even though it's about 93 degrees hotter than you know who's B-A-L-L-S is. But I do this because I love it and we're going to have us a good time. So let me get my eyes and my ears and we'll be... I don't know if I mentioned that she was chambered in 762 by 39. I did say we were shooting some good old dirty tool steel ammo um just uh for fun fact she is actually 36 inches collapsed so if i fold her stock she's about 36 inches and extended she's 39 inches um the barrel is the forged steel barrel and that's about it yeah that's about it but what am i doing yo i'm ready to shoot i don't want to turn that to y'all so i am going to oh let me show you what the box looks like for the vortex amg so this is the box that it comes in and this is what it looks like here amg uh1 generation 2 holographic site made in the usa okay get my ears on how y'all doing today y'all all right that's great. All right, let's get these first impressions up. See how to get my side on. There you go. All right. Let's get that first magazine. Okay, these are... All of them are Magpul magazines as well. This one just seems to be a different generation. See, this one has like a, uh, a metal little tip on here. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but we're going to save that one for last. Let's get these first shots in. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel. That went in very nicely. That rack sound beautifully. She's ready to fire. Y'all just, just admire this really quick. Woo! All right, let's see what it's gonna do. I know. Oh, couldn't 
help it. Man, it seems like this almost has shocks in it. It absorbed every shock, every single shock. Let's clear her, she's clear. Amazing. Whew. All right, so sight just got put on here. We didn't do no um, sighting in yet. So it is shooting kind of high, high and consistent. Same spot. So let me make an adjustment and bring her down a little bit. And we're gonna make it blow. All right, made a quick little adjustment and see how that works. Let's go. Man, it's hot. Yep, that's what it was. The adjustment is all it needed. Um, let's put her on safe and let's go pick that up. <laughs> It ain't much left to it. Watermelon don't look like it was no good, no way. But it smells good. That's why I got the longer one. Hoping that it'll survive a little more. We got enough. All right, watermelon stains also, if you didn't know. So far, so good. I'm loving her so far. She's hot. I don't know if it's because of the weather or of the shooting, but either way. Like we might need to do a little more adjusting. But for the most part, this is great. This is why I feel like iron sights are so important because had I been in a situation, my iron sights would have jumped right in and it would have been no ifs, ands, or buts about my target. Okay. So, like I stated, this is to see how the, um, my impressions on the actual Galil. My sight, this is what my choice was for this. I should have sighted it in before I came out, but I didn't. But this is not about the sight. This is actually about the, the firearm. Uh, but we'll be sure to do that. But we're going to um, finish doing what we're doing. I don't think there's much left <laughs> she's clear let's go um Nicely done. Nicely done. Oh. Leave these for nature. They'll have them a good time with that. Oh. This is a nice fat one. What y'all think so far? I'm loving it. All right, let's go bananas for this go around. She is hot.
Nice. Yeah, she's hot. Not much left. That was that. And she's clear. Oh, y'all already know all this stuff be straight out of the box. Let's go check that out. She's safe. Looks good. Very nice. Everything is very central. Very, very nice. Hey, question. Anybody have any good suggestions on a nice sling? I want one with some cushion on it. A really nice one. No funny colors, just black. Let me know. The bag I was concerned with actually shot very well. If you can see the difference, it works. I think it's a different generation, but it's all right. It doesn't fit in all, so be mindful. Oh, she's nice and hot. Oh, she's so sexy. That didn't take much. Woo! That was great. Take a look. It's no longer there. Let's go load up. All right, so with me, the Galil Ace GAR 37 Gen 2 16 inch barrel is completely 100% all right with me. All right with me. So. We're gonna, well, it's very hot. Very, very hot. That was a hundred rounds and um, she's holding up very well. I don't see no smoke or, or anything coming out of her, which is nice. There's not much blowback at all. Could be because we're shooting outside, but she's awesome. When I bring her back though, we're gonna be 100% precise with this AMG because the talks that I hear about this Vortex AMG is amazing and um, I, I love it. I haven't even used it to its full potential and I love it, but the look of it alone is sick. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> she feels so good in the hands. Set her to fire. I was looking for my gloves. I can't find my gloves. Whew. She might need a minute. Go ahead, yo. She could do it. I told you she could do it. Beautiful. Clear check. She's clear. She smells hot. <laughs> Got two mags left for y'all. I don't know if some bees or something out here. Because you can hear them humming. They just need to stay where they at. Don't come bother me. So far, loving it. Completely loving it. You got this disrespectful ass sun coming back out. Get myself together.
love it. Love it. She is amazing. Oh, y'all know I'm an AK girl. I love me a good AK. I'm torn between what I would say my favorite is. No, no, no. I'm not going to say what my favorite is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out my top and then we'll talk about what my favorite is. I ain't going to um, do that right now. But as far as this Galil goes, let's do a quick check. She's clear. Galil Ace. Now, is it GAR or GAR 37? My? No, that's the background. Oh, that is my hair. GAR or GAR 37? 16 inch Galil Ace. <sighs> Gen 2. <sighs> she is equipped with the Vortex AMG. And I absolutely am loving her love 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 we shot some good old dirty tool ammo that to me is one of the best even though i know steel ain't the, the, the what it is and whatever though but tool never let me down and our magpul magazines never let me down i am in love in love but Yoke Gang, make sure you check out www.yokegang.com. Pick up a t-shirt. Pick up a gun bag patch. It really, really helps the channel for me to continue to bring this cool stuff out here for you. Hey, listen. Thank you all for all the cash apps and support and, and everything. But hey, if no, I guess I shouldn't say that. I'm going to try to figure out to reach out to somebody who sent me a cash app for um, a t-shirt. And um, I don't want to say if it was you, because a hundred of y'all <laughs> would say it was me, it was me. But honestly, um, I am going to figure out how I'm going to get this t-shirt to you because you didn't leave me any information. It's best to order off the website so that you can put in your address, put in your phone number, email, whatever it is. So if I have to get in contact with you, I can get in contact with you for whatever reason it may be. Hell, it just might taste to say hi or something. But... With that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me today. It's hot. Very, very hot. I had a great time. Y'all know I love y'all for life. Peace.